Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel guys. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with you and the person that's on your mind. We're going to see what is this person really hiding from you, whether it's good or it's bad. What are they thinking about you? What are the next moves and when do they plan to reach out to you? So we'll get you a little bit of a, pretty much an energy check-in of the person that is on your mind. So let's go ahead and see what is this person's messages towards my collective universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Guys, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. And time is fluid. Whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. So let's go ahead and see. What is this overall energy here with my collective universe? What's going on with the person that is on their mind? What is this person thinking? My life is not as together as it seems. So I feel like you you might be or were dealing with somebody who wore a false mask. They acted like everything was good, that everything was fine, finances were good, career was good. Everything was just going stupendous for them, okay? You dealt with somebody who was hiding the truth from you. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. I know I messed up everything so this person they know that by keeping secrets by hiding things from you they mess things up the timing just wasn't right for us this person is also recognizing that the timing between you and them it just wasn't right the time wasn't right there still needed to be a little bit of um inner work that this person needed to do and they i think that they might have even decided to pull away from you because their next message to you is i want to be more than friends okay so this person wants to pursue something more serious with you. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Hmm. You were the best thing in my life. So this person has a lot of regret here. They do love you though. This person is, is really in love with you and they've learned... A lot of spiritual lessons too in this time of separation so you're dealing with somebody who felt that this connection at the end of the day even though they screwed up a lot of things they did learn a lot they've also come to terms that they are in love with you they do have a lot of feelings for you and they're hoping and praying that one day you can forgive them because they do plan to come back towards you because they just want to be more than friends Universe, Archangels, a Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here? So I have the Page of Wands. Okay. So there is communication that's going to come in from the person that you're currently broken up with. The person that you find yourself in the, in the Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay. I feel that this person is in this energy where they want to reach out to you. They're just trying to gather up the strength, the courage to do so. Seven of Swords energy. And it was because this person in the past, they were dishonest with you. They betrayed you. They betrayed your trust. That was the thing. I feel that for a lot of you, <clears throat> when you first met this person, you trusted them. You gave them full trust of the situation. You had no reason to be chasing them. No, re excuse me, no reason to be up their ass coming out the throat. No reason to be that overbearing boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, you actually did give this person all the trust in the world. And I feel that they ended up taking advantage of that. And their current energy towards you with the six of wands here, they want victory and success in this situation. Okay, they are still going within. They're still trying to get that, that proper timing of reaching out to you. It's not that this person doesn't want to. They do want to. They're just waiting for their intuition to tell them, okay, it's time to take that leap. It's time to reach out to the collective. It's time to make things right. So this person is spending a little bit of solitude, just waiting for that clear message from universe telling him or her it's time to reach out. You have the justice here. This person plans to make things right with you. They have an intention to right their wrongs. Okay, Eight of Pentacles to work on this connection once again. Nine of Cups to bring in wish fulfillment and the Wheel of Fortune to give this relationship a second chance. This person has a lot of plans and aspirations in regards to this relationship. They have this overwhelming energy of wanting to move forward and have some big and success with you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What are their true intentions here? What are their true intentions with my collective? 
to make you happy, to bring in truth, to bring in clarity, to give you a sense of security. Six of Pentacles energy to balance things out, to have an equal give and take with you. What are the true intentions, universe? The Queen of Swords to speak truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This person wants to come back in and relieve these Ten of Wands energies. They want to relieve these Ten of Wands and these Ten of Swords. They want to end all negative, toxic cycles with you. Because their true intention is to balance things out with you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's next move towards my collective? What do they plan to do towards my collective? The Knight of Swords, they plan to rush in. They plan to bring in the truth. And alongside those truth, they plan to bring in happiness, victory, and success with the Ten of Cups. This person wants this, this reunion with you. They want this celebration with you. They want this happily ever after. So the truth of the matter is that this person, the second that they get the go-ahead, the second that they get that green light, they're going to rush in. They're going to rush in. And they're going to hope and pray that you're not with anyone else. When does this person plan to reach out to my collective? When do they plan to come towards my collective universe? Please help me give them clear and concise timing. When do they plan to reach out to my collective? You got the page of cups. First plan is that they're, within the next couple of weeks, I do feel that this person is going to end up sending you a message. And I feel the second, because now you got this the two of wands energy here. The second that that message comes in with these two of wands energy, this person is going to want to ramp up the communication with you. Within the next two days or two weeks max, you will be hearing from this person. They're going to be sending you a message and it is going to come in out of nowhere. It's going to be all of a sudden communication from this person what else universe in regards to this communication three of cups because they their true intention here is to have a reunion a reconciliation with you a celebration with you universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is the outcome of the situation for my collective what is the outcome of this for my collective ace of swords a truthful new beginning to me, this Ace of Swords really is indicative of you and this person having a brand new opportunity, a do-over, a started up over again type of energy, okay? This person wants you to attempt to forgive and forget their mess from the past, to no longer look at them like that negative person that they were. Because they do want to show you that in this time of separation, they've transformed. They've become this abundant, more stable committed individual and they do want to move forward with you with the three of wands energy so they're really hoping and praying that you forget the negative past person that they were and you give them the opportunity to come back in from out of the cold and prove to you that they're no longer that toxic individual that they are balanced out that they know what they want and they want you they want this queen of pentacles they want to have stability with you they want forward movement here so you are dealing with someone who recognizes their mistakes. Someone who wants to rectify those mistakes and wants to move over. What are the final messages here, universe? Oh, too many. What are the final messages here, universe? What is the final message here? You got the chariot. So there's action. There's forward movement in the near future. For some of you guys, you did manifest this person to come back towards you. And like I told you, they're going to present themselves in this emperor, empress energy. A very stable energy. And with this queen of wands energy, they're going to be very, very persistent. Okay? They're going to be so persistent that at times you're going to feel stuck. Okay? You're going to feel stuck not knowing what you want. But what they want is marriage. They want true forward commitment. They want you to give them another opportunity to prove to you that they're no longer that reckless individual that they were in the past. All right. Let's get you some overall advice here so we can wrap up this reading. What is the advice for my collective universe? What should, sh what should they do when this person comes back? Advice, universe. codependency i feel that you are being told honestly when i seen that codependency they told me to for you to st 
truthfully for you to stay optimistic do not stay stuck on that negative energy that they were in the past this person is truly trying to show you that they're no longer that person they freed themselves from that addictive manipulating overburdening person they do want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you so you are being told to stay optimistic okay now for some of you guys your friends do serve you as portals of advice other you guys your, your friends just kind of destroy everything around you so pick and choose who you want to talk to i was told very clearly because there are going to be some friends of yours that are going to tell you the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth in regards to the situation this person does have love for you still they do want to be with you there is a lot of passion i feel that there's passion between both you and them but you are angry at them okay so they're going to offer you a retreat for you guys to disconnect from the world to spend some more time together and get to know each other again but the truth of the matter is that a lot of people are probably going to say that this person doesn't love you, that they're just coming back for something or they're looking for something because they may be a codependent energy. But the truth is, this is your soulmate returning back towards you. You call this soulmate back in. Okay. So again, for some of you guys, it depends on your story. But I do feel that whoever it is that you were dealing with, they've done a whole turnabout. This person's done a 360 and they want to prove to you that they're no longer that toxic individual. Okay. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.